Hey guys, welcome to Skill Link. Do you love traveling in cars? Well, we do too. It's surprising how cars evolved from the 1908 Model T to the world-renowned Bugatti Veyron and Lamborghini Aventador. In today's video, we'll talk about a material which is essential for manufacturing such vehicles. Yes, we're talking about sheet metal and their usage in the automotive industries. First, let's understand what sheet metal is. Well, it's a thin and flat piece of metal, which is produced through an industrial process. A large piece of iron is allowed to roll into a long ribbon of desired thickness, producing a long and thin piece of sheet metal. This sheet metal is either rolled or cut into several pieces. Sheet metal is one of the most popular materials used in metalworking, thanks to its ability to be cut and bent into any required shape. Using sheet metal working, Foils having extremely small thickness, as well as plates with over 0.25 mm thickness, can be obtained conveniently. The most common sheet metal employed in the automotive industry is steel. This is attributed to the low cost and high accessibility of steel, as well as its ability to be pressed into different shapes as per the requirement. The steel employed in the automotive industry has been classified into three types, namely boron steel, mild and low carbon steel, and higher carbon steel. The first type, boron steel, is widely used by Volvo. This type of steel is stronger than the other two. In spite of its higher strength, boron steel is not as commonly used as mild and low carbon steel and higher carbon steel. Why? We'll know the reason very soon. As the name suggests, Boron steel is manufactured by using boron as the alloying agent to develop ultra-high strength steel. Boron steel cannot be straightened after it is bent once, and it requires replacement when damaged. Boron steel is sensitive to heat because of which it cannot be galvanized. This calls for the necessity for corrosion protection after welding. Furthermore, rapid heating of boron steel causes it to weaken which might cause irreparable damage. Moving on, mild and low carbon steel, also known as plain carbon steel, is the most common type of steel. This is because of its low price and material properties, which are acceptable for a wide range of applications. Mild steel contains 0.05 to 0.3% carbon, which improves its malleability and ductility. Compared to boron steel, mild steel has lower tensile strength but its lower cost and malleability compensate for the lower strength. Furthermore, surface hardness can be enhanced by using a process called carburizing. Carburizing or case hardening is a heat treatment process. In this process, a metal is heated in the presence of a carbon-bearing material such as charcoal or carbon monoxide. As a result of this heating, carbon atoms are liberated which are absorbed by iron or steel. This causes an increase in the surface hardness of the metal. After a successful carburizing process, the carbon content in the mild steel is actually increased. With approximately 0.3 to 0.59% carbon content, the newly obtained steel balances ductility and strength and has a higher wear resistance. Now, let's talk about the third and final type of steel used in automotive industry. Yes, we're talking about high carbon steel. Just as the name suggests, high carbon steel contains a higher carbon content when compared to mild steel. When a carbon steel undergoes a heat treatment process successfully, its carbon content can reach a range of 0.3 to 1.7%. Using such heat treatment processes, high carbon steel and ultra high carbon steel can be obtained. With a carbon content of 0.6 to 0.99%, high carbon steel is not as ductile as mild steel, but has higher strength. On the other hand, ultra-high carbon steel with a carbon content of 1-2% to can be obtained. This steel can be tampered to obtain very high strength and hardness. Well, that's all for today's session. We talked about the sheet metals used in automotive industries and its types. But before we close the session, let me ask you a question. Do you guys know that we can design a car using computer-aided designing softwares? Well, the answer is yes. With the advancement in software technology, 
we have several softwares using which we can perform surface designing of a car. We can design an already existing car or we can design a car of our dreams. Sounds intriguing, right? We at Skilling provide a course on automotive sheet metal design using a software known as NXCAD. Using several features of the software, we can generate countless models of our dream car. After taking the course, you will have more than enough knowledge to design any car of your choice. So what are you waiting for? Visit the link in the description below and enroll for our course on automotive sheet metal design today. This is Skill Link and we'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye.